16-year-old Dashe Hall was a fearless young woman who always strived to elevate herself and those around her. Dashe was not a quitter and backed down from nothing. She was always outspoken and considered the life of the party. Her mother, whom she has an extremely close relationship with, describes her as a selfless and caring person who wouldn't hesitate to give someone the shirt off her back. For the past three years, Dashe was a part of the well-known dance group, the Dancing Dolls. Her teammates describe her as motivating and encouraging, always pushing herself as well as her teammates to do their best. She was gearing up for her final year of high school and was looking forward to majoring in nursing in college. Around 7.30 p.m. on June 12th, officers responded to the Kroger Shopping Center at 4919 Flat Shoals Parkway. When they arrived, they would find one person dead and another critically injured. A few hours later, just before midnight, officers responded to a shooting outside of Grady Hospital in downtown Atlanta. When they arrived, they would find one person dead and another critically injured. Officers would later determine that the two incidents were in fact related. Teed was killed in a DeKalb County shooting that's now been connected to another deadly shooting outside of Grady Hospital in Atlanta. Sadly, 16-year-old Dashe Hall died on the scene while another teen was taken to Grady Hospital in critical condition. Investigators determined that an argument ensued between two groups of people in the Chapel Hills common parking lot, at which time an individual pulled out a gun and began shooting. Police said two people left the Kroger in a white sedan going southbound on Flakes Mill Road. A few hours later, officers responded to another shooting outside of Grady Hospital, where Dashe's family was still grieving her death. When they arrived, they would find one person dead and another critically injured. They quickly determined that the two shootings involved several family members who were at the initial crime scene just hours prior. The group of families showed up at Grady Hospital and began shooting at each other again. One of the victims was struck in front of the hospital, and police are now looking for three people that may have been involved, including two who fled on foot. Investigators are combing through video surveillance for any information that could lead to an arrest. Her mother, along with members of the Dollhouse Dance Factory, are completely devastated and shaken up by the news and are still trying to process the unexpected loss. The second doll loss to gun violence just months apart. Back in February, 19-year-old Shakira Gatlin was shot and killed after a teen reportedly mishandled a firearm. Dashe's mother says not only did she lose her daughter that night, but also her cousin, who was shot and killed in front of Grady Hospital during the second incident. According to her, the shooting happened near the emergency room and stemmed from a dispute among family members of one of the victims. She is unsure what sparked the argument and was inside when the events took place. Her mother says the loss feels like a dream that she cannot wake up from. Having Dashe at the age of 19, she describes the two as being extremely close and has no idea how she would break the news to her 10-year-old son. In an interview with the Sun-Times, she said that it really hits her when she is at home, knowing that she won't receive any more calls, FaceTimes, or text messages from her daughter. She always made sure that Dashe had the best of everything, and it was them against the world. She was the most humble kid and appreciative of everything she did for her. Coach Diana Williams was the first to share the news via Instagram, stating that she couldn't believe that Shay was gone and didn't understand how something like this could have happened to her. She says losing two members of her dance team to gun violence in the span of a few months has been nothing short of devastating, revealing that she just saw Dashe four days prior, never imagining that that would be the last time she or her teammates would lay eyes on her. In an Instagram post, she stated, Please keep her family, friends, and the entire Dancing Dolls organization in prayer. We are not okay. Today is one of the hardest days ever. My team in all three cities are broken. They all talked, encountered, texted, FaceTimed, traveled, and celebrated with each other. This child had an effect on all of us and left something with us that we will not forget. Fly high, mama's baby. Rest peacefully. We will hold it down while you lift us up. Atlanta police are asking for help identifying two suspects in the shooting. On Monday morning, they released surveillance footage of the two suspects they believe are responsible for the shooting. As of right now, there is no motive as to what led up to the shootings, and police are asking anyone with information to come forward.